Main that Walking Dead episode right there. <laughs> I don't always watch TV, but when I do watch TV, I'm watching Walking Dead. Ain't nobody trying to watch commercials, even though they kept showing that dang Halo commercial, doing all them cinematics, trying to make it look all good. Then what, what you see on the bottom? October. What the heck, Joker? March? And then you're going to release the game in October? Y'all crazy. Y'all wasting money. You know that? Only people care about that is the Halo 5 fans and the Halo 4 fans and Halo 3 fans. Let me just keep it going. We're talking Walking Dead right now. So we started off with Morgan, my favorite character. Well, next to Rick. Rick is my favorite Walking Dead character. But you know what? Morgan, that man right there, that's my favorite actor. You know, I didn't know who my favorite actor was, but now I know. It's, it's Morgan. He's the same guy who was on Jericho. If you haven't seen Jericho, you need to see Jericho, and I'm talking about all the episodes. That's a good show right there. Real good show. See, I didn't watch it when it was on TV, but I watched it, what was that, on Netflix or something? I don't even remember, but I just remember it was good as heck. Let's talk about this episode. Man, this jump was crazy. What was up with that girl with the McDonald's hairline? What's her name, Sasha or something like that? That girl gonna lay on the ground with some dang walkers. I guess it's supposed to have a special meaning. Wait a minute, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. <laughs> it's a little late, but if you don't like spoilers, you better not watch this because I don't even like spoilers. Don't watch this if you don't want to know what happened because I'm going to be talking about some of the stuff that happened. I don't even watch Talking Dead because, I don't know, sometimes they be doing spoilers. So I understand. But yeah, that dang girl over there laying on the ground. Well, she, she dug a hole, or maybe the hole was already there, but she going to lay down with some dang walkers and go to sleep. And it's probably supposed to have some type of special meaning, like... You know, she was laying down, closed her eyes like she was dead. But then if she got up, it's like, oh, see, she walking dead. She she really dead. She is just like the walkers. And I think one time they said, oh, no, see, they not really. The walkers are not the walking dead. The actual people are the walking dead. It's something like that. Anyways, then we get Daryl in the car. He was saying the same thing. I feel all comfortable in the car with these walkers coming after me. And all of them was feeling like that. And they started getting a little soft, too. Uh, what's her name? My show getting a little soft there. I was hoping they wouldn't get too soft. Better listen. Pay attention. Thought Rick was going crazy. People talking about Rick is acting like the new Shane. Acting like, I was like, yeah, man, Rick, why are you pulling that gun out? Maybe Rick know who's a good guy and who's a bad guy. But I was thinking maybe Rick was acting like that because he want that girl. You know how that go. But no, nah, what, what happened? Rick was right all along. Man, just so much, so many ups and downs. Who we get? That dang curly hair dude. Uh, I don't know his name. It don't matter because dude is a little liar. That's what he is. Remember, he the one who got Noah killed. He didn't want to listen. And Glenn was like, look, all of us can get out alive. No, no. He had to act like all the other people and leave people behind because that's what they do. Some ain't right about them. They ain't ready, just like Rick said. So then I noticed on the episode before that, he had that little look in his eye. You know, I'm talking about the dude with the curly hair. He had that look. He was like, yeah, I'm going to have to kill Glenn because I don't want nobody to know. What kind of punk old stuff is that? And talking about punk old stuff, let's talk about that trick old priest. That man right there ain't no good. Talking about, oh, these guys, they're here, the new guys, the new arrivals. New arrivals, ain't you a new arrival too, Joker? Well, I mean, what the heck? He want to say they bad people, but he going to leave the gate open. Come on, why you going to do that? You did that on purpose. See, that's why he was laying on the ground talking about they died because of me. What you think everybody died? You think everybody weak like your little punk self? I'll tell you what I didn't like, though. The lack of communication. And I know the show has to go on, so they can't do certain things, but I think too much common sense. Look, Glenn, why don't you just tell everybody the curly-haired dude is the reason why Noah got killed? Maybe my show would have understood that ahead of time. Maybe everybody would have knew that. You should have told that old lady who always trying to run things. You should have told her that too. See, curly hair dude tried to tell her the other story, but you never told her the story. I don't remember that. You just told Rick. Rick out there looking crazy. Rick out there looking like he want to kill people. But Rick be the one knowing what's going on. 
and what happened again? Rick had to give them the talk. Remember that uh, episode? I think it was called Rick Tatorship or something. He had to give everybody the talk again. And let's talk about what are these wolf chokers with, with the W on their foreheads. I'm glad we got Morgan now. Morgan is joining the team. Look like everybody about to get on board. Everybody going to have to understand, hey, listen to Rick. He know what he's talking about. And everybody going to get strong because you're going to need to be strong with these little tricky jokers. I mean, they done been through some stuff. They done been through Terminus. They done been through the governor. I mean, and then I look at this stuff. I'm like, man, it really don't make sense. It's really messed up. Be like, you got to deal with these dumb walkers all the time. That's bad enough because they stupid and they don't care. You can't reason with them. They just want to kill you. And then, <laughs> then you got to deal with people who just want to kill you for some weird reason. You just can't live in a civilized world. And that old Bill Cosby looking dude, he was like, well, you know, we're, we're civilized now. Yeah, but look what happened to you. Ain't civilized. You got killed by that old woman beater. And Rick was right. He, he told him. He said, he, I, I told him. I told him. That's right, Rick. You told him. I told him that one of these days he's going to kill somebody. That's why he got to get killed. I said something like that. You did say something like that. And what happened? He going to kill him? It's a shame they had to learn that way. But you know what? Sometimes you got to learn the hard way. Joker's too soft. But yeah, that episode was just straight up intense. I hate how they always leave you hanging at the end. You're like, oh man, what's going to happen next? But at the same time, I'm kind of happy because that means I know there's going to be more episodes to come since they left it hanging like that. You get Morgan and you get Rick looking at each other like, what, what, what? And then Rick just killed the little woman beater. But you know, Morgan, he already know Rick is a good man. And remember Morgan, he was going crazy last time Rick seen him. It was just a good show. You know what? Two thumbs up. Red, silver, J. All I got to say.